breaking news tennis shoes we are back with another episode in the espn nfl 2k5 franchise featuring my team your team same team same dream the dallas cowboys and we are jumping straight into the division wrap up as you already know we will be advancing and we will be advancing against one of these teams as the bears take a win over the panthers 34 to 31 the titans take a big one over the ravens 21 to 13 and meanwhile the colts have advanced over the bills 23 to 14 and i can't say that i didn't see that one coming because the colts have been good all the whole i mean the whole franchise i mean i don't, I don't know what would you want me to tell you they are good and i plan on meeting them if they advance because i'm already putting it in the air man i'm putting it out there I am trying to manifest this thing. We need a win and we need a big win. And we got the Chicago Bears coming into our town right here in beautiful digital Irvin, Texas at Teja Stadium. And it is about to go down. So what's going on? What's happening? Let's go ahead and jump straight into this game. I am your man in a whole hundred grand buddy rogers and today oh today i have a plan as we try and keep these playoffs going the right way the only way that we know how to do things and we are going to start this one off first down and 10 kicking off the quarter is my man quincy carter and we're going to go straight into a play action looking downfield and the pass is intercepted Wow. <laughs> Yo, I was fired up. I'm not, I'm not going to hold you. I was ready. You know what I mean? I felt like we had a chance to start it off right. Hugh Ford said, nah. Nah. I got other plans. I don't, I don't like to hear what y'all got going on because I got things going on myself. But here we go. The Bears are starting this drive off with a third down and 11. Gonna drop back, look downfield, and look no more, you shall, Mr. Favre, as we will bat that one down, and our offense will get the ball back. Second down and six, we're going play action, and that play action did not work at all. Alex Brown was not fooled in the least. Like, not even a little bit. Third down and 14 now. Flag on the play, but Larry Fitzgerald does not care about any flags at all. As he goes straight into the end zone, we're going to see what this is. And it's holding, but it's not on us. That penalty is on Brian Erlacher. Brian Erlacher is not a Dallas Cowboy, and we have struck first in the playoffs. We're going to go up 7 to nothing, but then we're going to jump on offense for the Bears, and there is a flag on the play. That's going to go against Leroy Glover. He's going to get called for encroachment. First down and five for the Chicago Bears. Handoff is, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Woo. Woo. That could have got ugly. I was expecting that to be extremely ugly, but they do pick up a first down, second down, and 10 now. Pass is going to be complete and almost a first down, but Williams will make a big stop, and that is the way to get things done. Handoff now is good. And it's also good for a first down. The Bears are slowly but surely moving the ball, but it is third down and 10. And they cannot overcome third and long. We will get the ball back first and 10 now. Quincy Carter throws another one straight to Hugh Ford. And Hugh Ford is a hater. That's all. <laughs> He's not, man, but he is smoking our boots right now on defense. And we're going to have to find somebody else to throw to. We're going to have to find some different routes. I don't know, but it's a problem right now. Williams makes the tackle 
Favre rolling out to the left, throwing to the left as well. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call a touchdown. And it is now a tie ball game as Lovey Smith is loving it on the sideline. He's living up to the name. Let's just say that. <laughs> now, here we go. We're going to hand this one off. And this Orange Julius taking the carry for six yards. I would love to get him more involved. And I think we should. I think we should right now. Second down and four is going to be a toss play to Julius Jones. And he's going to pick up about 12 on the carry. Great job by him. Third down and 10 now. Looking over the middle. And it's Terry Glenn. Big Terry out here. That's Big Terry to you. All right. That's going to bring us to the close of the first quarter. And the Bears and the Cowboys are all tied up right here in Texas Stadium. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but one of these two teams is going to the Super Bowl. That's all I'm saying. One of us is going to the Super Bowl, and the winner of the Titans and the Colts is going to the Super Bowl as well, which I'm very intrigued about that matchup. Well, I'm only intrigued if we win. <laughs> and speaking of, let's go, man. Mason catches a big one over the middle, and we are going to add to our score, making it 14-7 to now. But I am really intrigued about that uh, Tennessee and Indianapolis matchup because it's a rivalry game. I mean, we already know that, but we already know how Terrence Newman does as well. This is playoff Terrence right here, okay? It's not like playoff P, all right? It's playoff Terrence. It's a whole different level, man. Brett Favre is frustrated. I can see why he's playing against Terrence Newman. That's <laughs> That's not why, but he is frustrated. He threw that interception as he throws his helmet and breaking news on that throw. That was intercepted as well. Second down and 11, looking downfield. And see, I'm, I'm sitting here going in about Brett Favre throwing interceptions like Quincy Carter is a marksman or something because my man <laughs> just threw another interception I believe that's his third or fourth on the day. It's a problem, to say the least. Flag on the play now, as we'll see exactly what this is. That is going to be an illegal forward touching pass. Let's go. We will take all the yards that we can get at this point because we keep turning the ball over. And now on first down and 15, they're going to pick that one up. Quite easily, might I add. We had three defenders in the area. Nobody thought it would be a good idea to get maybe in front of it or swat the ball. So, you know, we're trying out different things. In, <laughs> in Irvin, Texas, look at this, man. Parsons with the interception. A big interception at that. We will take it the other way. And Brett Favre is trying to out turn over us at this point and PK Sam he don't care about none of that all he cares about is catching the ball trying to move it downfield toss play to Orange Julius he runs it into the end zone and we are capping off this drive quite beautifully I might say I mean it doesn't get better than having a touchdown after the end of a couple tough plays and oh no, Steven Davis is running for his life. And he goes out of bounds after a huge game. We've got to take another look at it. Yeah, one, one attempt on a tackle is not going to be enough. Bounces out to the edge. And from here is just breakaway speed. But he did hear Roy Williams coming up. You know I mean, he made a good decision. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm going to say. And now we almost get the pick on third and 10, but it's a no-go. They're going to settle for a field goal, and they are going to close the gap on this lead that we had. 
but we will go into the half still with an 11 point lead and at this point can't ask for too much more especially with how many interceptions we've already thrown in the game not a good look in the playoffs that's not a good look at all but here we go with the not chris berman halftime show 222 yards passing yes we have thrown interceptions but we have been moving the ball through the air we are dominating in total yards and time of possession in the run game that's gonna be a no that is gonna be a big no but hey man we can't be perfect in every area we got to be slacking at something i guess i don't know maybe i'm looking at the bright side pass is complete big catch down the field and the bears are moving the ball here straight out of the gate in the second half looking downfield gonna find davis again but there is a flag on the play and we'll see what this is that's going to be holding, and that's going to be against the offense. And I don't know. I don't know. Tough decision, but I think we're going to accept that. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to accept that, but we don't accept that. I don't know what was happening with the defense on that play. I don't know. Pretty easy if you ask me, and so was this run right here, at least up until the two-yard line as Davis tries to pound it in. Third down and goal now. And that's exactly what he's gonna do. Steven Davis gets the touchdown and the Bears are right back into this game. Touchdown, interception, touchdown, interception, touchdown, punt. Wow. For the most part, we score interceptions. For the most part second down and five now gonna send a man in motion try to get some extra blocking we're gonna do the same on this play as well and it's gonna be another short gain no first down but we are going for it yeah yeah we are gambling it's playoff time and i will not not go down without a fight we are gonna bring out the chains now See if we actually picked up the first down. I'm pretty sure we did. We will get confirmation. That, of course, is a first down. And we will keep the ball rolling now. Going to pass this one out to Julius Jones. And he's going to take this one for a gain of 12 yards. Big play by Julius. And my man Larry is going off today. Three catches, 131 yards. Touchdown as well. And Orange Julius is trying to get on his level. Gain of seven on that carry. I don't know what that was at all. Terrible pass. We will give the ball back to the Bears. Third down and nine now. But we do know how to play defense. That I know for sure. That win almost gets the interception. Not going to happen, though. We're going to pick up five yards, and that will bring us to the close of the third quarter as we move on to a big, big fourth quarter. If we win, we are in. If we lose, we are going home. That is the end of our season. But Terry Glenn ain't trying to hear that. Big catch by him. We will move the ball down near the 20 yard line and it's Terry Glenn once again. This is the perfect compliment to a receiver like Larry Fitzgerald because the man can catch, he can run, he runs good routes, but he's not a superstar. It's like the only drawback. Quincy Carter almost gets into the end zone. It does not happen. It is fourth and goal. And I told y'all we are here to gamble. And we come up short. Not every gamble is going to pay off. But it's third down and nine from the zero yard line. And it's a sack. Drake gets to Favre. And we will add another two points to our total 
perfect scenario in this situation, especially after giving up the ball on the one yard line. Not a good look, but this is, we got the ball and we are bombing it downfield. And it's Larry Fitzgerald with a huge catch. They probably thought we were just gonna run the ball, run the clock. We didn't do that. We did not do that at all. Second down and 11. Pass is complete to a man whose name I don't even think I've called since I've been recording this episode. But McMichael comes up strong with that catch and it's third down and three. And I don't know what to say about that. I don't know what to say about that. We will settle for a field goal. Kick is wide left and it's not a good look. One minute and 49 seconds to the Super Bowl and the Bears have it and they are moving it. Pass is complete. Second down and six now. One minute and 16 left to go. Big run, third down and in inches now. Handoff is good. And it's also good for a first down. Clock is running. They are going into no huddle now. And they are all the way down to 45 seconds when they snap the ball. Davis is breaking tackles. And it's Drake that brings him down. Woo! Second down and 10. 27 seconds. And is that win with a one-handed interception to take us to the Super Bowl. Wow. Wow. What a play by that win. <laughs> Yo, I, hey, that's crazy. I did not see that coming. Beautiful catch by him. And especially for that to be a one-handed catch is absolutely crazy but here we go with the not chris berman post game show 316 passing yards for quincy carter 65 rushing yards for the cowboys as a team 13 minutes of possession time equal turnovers in three for each team and we come away with a w in the next episode that you will see will be the Super Bowl. Man, I'm not even gonna lie, like I wanna go and check right now and see who that game is gonna be because I'm really hoping it's gonna be the Colts because the last Super Bowl that we had with them was a really good game and that's all I want for the Super Bowl. Not saying the Titans wouldn't bring that level of competition but since I already know what the Colts are going to do, hey, man, why not? Why not give them a rematch, a part two? I think that would be really cool, man. I appreciate y'all stopping with me and rocking with me, especially for the entirety of this series. If you are new here, go back, check out older episodes. I've been me. You've been you. And until the next time we speak, man, I'm gone. <laughs>